Right, we've got um, a joint of beef here. It's it's topside beef. It's crazy how this all came about, don't you? I mean, we have to apologise to our both our mothers at this point. Yeah. Because it, as kids, we was terrorised by topside. By just people. By tortured topside. Tortured topside. I mean, basically, they cooked too long, bone dry, completely crap. Not even worth eating, was it? You need a ton of gravy and it was just a nightmare, wasn't it? Yep. Both our mothers were the same. Yep. Unfortunately. So, to death. so we thought, so we're going to get, so what we was, it was half price look. So we've seen it, we said, let's grab that. So we got it. And now it's like, what to do with it? Hmm. So, well, the choices came down to this. So we're either going to, we could either roast it. I mean, cause it's all down to cooking time with beef, innit? So as long as you like, not going to, you know, something like 20 minutes per, per pound or something like that with an extra 25 minutes on top. You're gonna get nice beef. It's not gonna be bone dry. But so we start off with wanting this, but then we're thinking, shall we pot roast it? Yeah, and as what we've done is we've tossed a coin, haven't we, Joe? And best of three. Best when well, hands down. I mean, yeah. we've we tossed we're, a couple after pot it. Roast. Pot roast. It pot is. Roast one. So for just me and Jody, I mean, this is a fairly decent sized joint. So what I'm gonna do, what I am gonna do, is I'm gonna cut a chunk off the end, and use that for like Chinese dishes later. You know, beef in black bean sauce, stuff like that. And then we're going to pot roast the rest of it, like with, you know, various herbs, onions and whatnot. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stop the video now. I'll get this unpacked, cut the chunk off the end, what I want to use for, like, Chinese dishes later. And we'll get some herbs out and we'll do what we're doing, AJ. Mm-hmm. Cool See you in a minute. All right, I've just peeled that fat, I've peeled that fat back off the, off the top, top of it. And... I'm literally just going to cut, cut some slices slices of this off just purely for, like I say, for Chinese. You know, I'll do it like a beef in black bean sauce or something like that. Do you know what I mean? So, if I just cut, cut this up a little bit and I'll come back to you in a second. Right, so I've cut a load of that off. Look, I've just cut, cut, cut it into like, you know, slices and stuff. Um, if I could just show you this, so it's like any beef, look. You, you, what you want is you... You see the fat running through it. This is what you want. It helps to baste it and it's flavour. So, anyway, it does seem like real good beef, this does actually, don't it? I mean, stuff is so mm, nice and it's tender. It's making us deliberate our choice of what we're doing with it. Yeah, whether we should but. roast it or not, really and truly. But So, I've got all that. I'm going to make, like, Chinese food with that um, at later date. I mean, I'm literally just going to wrap it up. And freeze it. Free yeah. and, and freeze it for now, because... That's another dinner. Another dinner, another day, isn't it, that? Do you want me to do that, love? Yeah, you can do that, my I darling. I think you're very good at wrapping. Oh, that's all right, it's wrapped. Looks beautiful. It's about as good as I am with sharp knives. <laughs> oh, yes. Show me your finger, Joda. She was messing with the knife. And this knife is absolutely razor. And I learnt the hard way. I'm surprised it never cut you down to the bone, you know. Or it hurt. Did it get right deep, was it? And it felt deep. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I'm laughing, I'm sorry, but you should just put them straight in the dishwasher. Don't try and mm -hmm. mess with them. They are razor. Anyway. Anyway. Right, so... That's that. Let's cut the video again and, and we'll come back. We'll get the veggies and everything else prepared, what we're going to do, yeah? Okay? Right, one thing I just quickly want to say, I'm going to do a video on it in the next day or two. Obviously, winter's here now. Freezing cold outside. We've got snow, all the rest of it. Now, because I'm going to pot roast this, this fat becomes less important. If you was roasting it, you'd want it, you'd want to keep it on the joint, wouldn't you? Um, it's flavour, but I will leave a little bit on there. But by and large, I'm taking it off, look. And I've got a, a bag full of fat in here. Because what I'm going to do, basically, I render all this down in a pan. So you've got liquid fat now. Then what I'm going to do is mix bird seed with it. And you put a string through it and, and set it in cups and things like that. And then you've basically got fat balls for the birds. And you can like tie them up in your garden and stuff. You know, keep the birds going through the winter, through the barren spell. You know... Food finds its way to my table. I mean, you might say, oh, yeah, well, you go work, you go earn the money to buy the food, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The point is, right, you know, you can do your bit, can't you, if you really want to. Do you know what I mean? Just stop the birds out through the winter. That's what I'm talking about. So I will do a video on that. I'm going to do that tomorrow, actually. So that's that anyway, like I say. So simple as that. Um, if I was roasting it, I would leave it on. But I do save bits and bobs of fat, you know, purely for that reason. Just because, look, if everyone's fed, everyone's fed, aren't we? You know what I mean? It's whether you're animals, whether you're humans, no matter what you are, we all live on this planet together. Anyway, there's my little rant about that. So, let's, uh, again, I'm going to leave you now. And really, I'm going to get the vegetables on the go. 
Right, so far then, if I just point out, I've been having a little munch of this, me and Joe, and it's sent me a bit special. <laughs> Joe just got quiet though. So what I've done is I've chopped up just a couple of potatoes, I've left the skins on them and stuff. I've got carrots, I've got this literally about, what, about six or seven cloves of garlic there. I've got leeks and then onions so I've, and, and celery as well. Also, I'm going to use like rosemary, fresh thyme, a bit of wine. Mustard. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to do that now on this. Okay. And, and also, I've got I've run out of olive oil, so I'm going to use rapeseed oil. It's a similar sort of thing, I believe. Well, it's not. Olives are olives and rapeseed's rapeseed, but that'll do. So, I'm going to spread on, on this beef now. I'm going to spread, I'm going to get some mustard and spread mustard all, all on the beef. Get that stir around. Just gonna, well, I've got to spread mustard all on it. So, I don't suppose we could cut the video while I'm doing this, but could we, Joe? Do you think to mm -hmm. keep its thing here? I'm just literally going to spread bread mustard all over it. Back to you in a minute. So, I've got, I've got mustard all over the beef now. So, I'm going with obviously loads of ground pepper on it, absolutely loads of it. Nice pepper crust on it. So, I might, I might need your help here, Joe. Don't say that. I'm good on it. If it just, I'll get pepper. I mean pepper mill. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. So, plenty, 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 plenty pepper on it. See, I'm not going to go with salt on it because salt draws salt draws the um, the moisture out of the meat, don't it? So what I'll do is I will salt the liquor that it's going in. I might put a touch of salt on it actually. So it's got mustard, plenty of pepper on it, as you can see. So that's that. Right. So a brief point. Oh, saying that I'm going to warm the frying pan up now and seal it in rapeseed oil. So. We'll just get that on the go, come back in a second, shall we? We right, so that's the oil's nice and hot now, so I'm just gonna seal off this. Hopefully we're gonna get a just get some colour on it. I'll pass it all around in the oil basically. We're not looking to cook it, we're just looking to get some deep caramelisation and, and colour on it, because then that's all gonna add to the flavour. Colour a lot. Put a seal all this, all the sides of it like this. We'll come back to you in a second. Right, that's got like loads of colour on it now. So I'm going to put that in there. So I'm just going to move it off the heat. Good. It's easier. I'm going to have to pick it up like this a lot, don't I? <laughs> so it's a bit excitable. Go yeah. for it. You can do it. Burnt. Well but done. This, I mean, we've got some nice colour on it, look now. So, uh, I'll arrange that in a minute when it gets a little cooler. Beautiful. Yeah? Beautiful. So, we've got flavour, flavour there now. I don't know if we're not frying off some of the vegetables or the taters or we'll just leave it, Jones. I don't know. <sighs> I'm not sure either. Uh, leave it, maybe. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it at that. Back in a sec. Yeah, I can't resist it. I'm gonna have to do the. I'm gonna have to do the taters. I'm gonna have to oh, splash it everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give this and do these in the oil as well. Oh, look, cool. Is it small? No. Yeah, <laughs> be helpful. Though. Help when you got a ring on. Yeah. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm. I am just gonna throw in. I tell you what. I'm not, I'm not gonna chuck the garlic in because that's some too small to get out. I'm just throwing all, all the big veg. Find in the oil, flavoured oil now. Yeah, the one in it. Mm -hmm. so you've got all sorts in there, look. Yeah. But what? See, while that's like that, I can salt this now mm -hmm. and pepper it, can't I? So 
put a bit of pepper on there. I'm going to put some salt, some salt on that as well. I didn't want to add any salt to my beef because. Salt all on there. Yeah, a touch more. Ooh, yeah. A little bit too much. That's that. That's it, look nice and coated. Smells good. Good, don't it? Mm. Nice first spillage. Very cool. Yeah. Right, sound there. So I'm going to just toss that around in all that oil. Come back to you in a minute. Right, so that's all coated lovely in the oil now. It's starting to get a little bit of colour on it. Just frying it all up. So I think what I'm gonna do now is add, add that to, to this. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll add that to this and then I'm going to use some red wine and beef stock. I'll eat that in the pan, just get to what's left and tip that in as well. So, back to you in a sec. Right, so I've, I've tipped my veggies in there now, the roasted. Now I'm going, well, I've got about half a bottle, probably a bit more of red wine. Just going to let the oak oil cook off that and help deglaze everything. Meanwhile, in here, I've got rosemary. Look, I put ro rosemary in there. I should have fruit. I'm gonna bury that rosemary in there. Get it in there, good style. Get some rosemary in there. All right. So, I right, to that. Ah, beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add. I've got some beef stock as well. I'll just mix that in there too. Just calm that down while I'm doing this. To be honest with you, let that mix up and boil up in a minute. Right. So I need. What time? Fresh time. I'm gonna want plenty of time in there. I'm just gonna whop a big load off there. Just cut some time into it. So we've got rosemary and thyme. Probably put a touch more thyme in there. About the time. Why not? Thyme's a lovely herb. Right, so that's that. Right, so cool. I'm just gonna let that warm right up. I'll be back to you in a second. Right, so I forgot to put my garlic in, look. So I'm just like scraping little holes, just get my garlic in there. Whoop, kicking it everywhere. Get my garlic in there. As um, you can see, we've got a very full pan. You know what I mean? Probably remember whether it'll be big enough or not, I don't know. <laughs> Slightly. So anyway, let's get some of that back off there. You don't really want to cover the beef with, with stuff. You want it, you know, you want it packed around the sides and stuff. That's nice, isn't it? It's a Spider-Man. <laughs> Anyway, put the, put the last little bit of garlic in anyway on the top, whatever. That's good. So what I've got is um, some onion. I know I've got loads of onions and stuff in there anyway, but sometimes a bit of dried stuff's nice. So I'll go with a little bit of little bit of onion powder. Yeah, onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. Nice, nice, nice. Plenty of salt and pepper's gone in. Might you rosemary? Rosemary's already in, isn't it? Oh yeah. And I've got now I've got beef stock and red wine. What well, deglaze the pan with look. Put I'll tell you I'll do it left handed, it's alright. <laughs> it's no problem, I'm only dexterous. So we just just tip that all in. Nice. Ooh look. Tip all that liquor into there. So we're not covering it, look, it's just just nice, it's below the yeah. Job's a good one, turn all that off. Right, so it's a case of now. That's right, I mean, kitchen's like a bomb's at it, looks. So it always is when I'm cooking, Joe, did not it? Yep. <laughs> so now I'm going lid on, and I'm going to stick that in the oven for three hours, something like that, on 150 degrees Celsius, which is what? Is that three? What's that, about 320, is it, Fahrenheit, something like that? I don't really know the Fahrenheit one, but anyway, so that's going in the oven, I'll come back to you in a little bit. Bye. Bye now. 
Right, so this had three hours in the oven now, still boiling, bubbling, look, you can see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to take the meat out and I wrap it in some foil. Um, well, it's lovely and soft and wants to fall apart, you can see. So. Uh, <laughs> this should be interesting. It's all good, Jade. It's all good, it's all good. That it comes up. Oh, well, oh, oh. Tender. Wow, that was like the other side of there. Should just leave it all on. Get rid of it. Right, we're good then. We'll yeah. leave that like that. So, just pull the rosemary out, or whatever it is. So, I'll just put that, put that on there for a second. It's gonna be nice, that is. So I'm just gonna, just gonna wrap that up. Keep it warm. Just put that, just stick that at the back there like that. Right, now what I'm gonna do is I wanna use a slotted spoon for this. So we get all these veggies out there, get rid of them all, and put, put them onto this tray. So, keep the video short, I'll just cut it a minute while I, while I finish off doing that, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> right, so, the, I've got all, literally, the, the, all the veggie out there, so there was, remember there was onions, leeks, celery, Potato. potatoes, all of that, onto there like that. I'm going to put this back into the oven to roast for 10 or 15 minutes while that's just doing what it's doing. So I'll just, I'll just put this back into the oven, so this is just straight back into the oven, we'll leave that to roast for a little bit, and then... <laughs> what I'm going to do, I've got a small pan, and oh, that's going to be hot, I need another towel. See, these are beer towels from the pub, look, they're perfect, you know, you put the glass on everything, but they're great for things like this, so, <laughs> you know, everything I love drinking, so what? <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take, take the, the gravy, look what's left, put that into a small pan, alright, put that down there, get rid of those. So <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is I've got obviously it's quite watery that is. I've got a beef gravy lot. I'm gonna put that into there, warm it up, and I've corn flour to thicken if I need to. So I'm gonna get my gravy together there. Vegetables are roasting off. That's just settled nicely in there. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll be back to you in a second. Well, that's well bubbling. So. Such a child. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what I've done is I've got the gravy there. Look. So, okay, it's a packet gravy, and what you should do under normal circumstances, if you want to make it, you go with 300 ml of water, the packet gravy, and then you've got gravy, yeah? So, but I've just gone with the teeniest bit of water, and a couple of corn flowers. I like the gravy, I know it's packet gravy, but, you know, I, I like the taste of it, so I'm going to add that into there, and it will thicken it right up. When I did do the meat, I was going to put a packet of soup in it. And to be honest, I forgot. Just, yeah. I mean, I make it up as I go along half the time, you know what I mean? It's like with the, you know, the recipes. Do that, it's whatever's nice. I thought a bit of a packet of soup would be nice in it anyway, but I never did it. So, what I'm going to do now then, let me roll my sleeves up. See, it's snowing outside. That's why the onesies are on. Show me mini mass. Show me mini mass. <laughs> You can't see it. It's the mini mouse upside down. <laughs> so anyway, so what I'm going to do is with, it, with this gravy, I mean obviously that's all the liquor that's left out of everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of tomato puree into it. Pour a little bit. About that much. And a bit more. And a bit more. <laughs> so that's that. I'll put that on there to... I mean, it's obviously boiling straight away. As soon as I'm back on the heat, it's good. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Just want to get that, make sure that tomato puree is mixed in there. And then, I suppose, basically then, when it, obviously when I add this, it's going to go super thick straight away. I would have thought, anyway. So, I'm sorry for me the way the camera, but just the way it is. We ought to do the filming on the side over there, Joe, really, because we've got loads of room over there. We have actually got an island in the kitchen where I can stand one side and she can stand the other. I don't know why we don't use it. It's a struggle. <laughs> I've got 
to but the... yeah just get rid of yeah big time get that off the spoon we're meant to keep these videos short aren't we best we yeah. can but so now I mean I've got let's turn this ring down anyway so I'll put it back on there so I'll just turn it off and then it is it is super thick so I've got nice thick gravy now so let's should we just come back in a second now? Yep. Right, so we've got this gravy now, which is nice and thick. It's beautiful and peppery, that is. Very nice. Little into tomato. Gravy. The vegetables, what I've took on all that beef flavour, and these have obviously gave all that their flavour into, into the gravy and stuff, but then they've been roasted off to intensify it. So that's that there. And now I've got the meat. I mean, there's going to be no need to carve this, you want to fall, it's going to fall apart, quite literally going to fall apart, isn't it? It just absolutely has to. Still lovely or not, look. Wow. Hot, 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 hot. So, anyway, I should have a knife at the ready, but I haven't. I don't want to go, Jode. Uh, dishwasher. <laughs> Pause the film. Right, let me move that. Right, I've got the knife. Jode loves tidying up after me, don't you, Jode? Yeah. And I'm like, with my knife? Anyway, I mean, it could fall apart, to be honest with you, couldn't it? <laughs> it could pull apart, I mean, look at <laughs> it. it. One bit for you, one bit for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I suppose I'll go with a little car, but just, just because. I mean, was we right to do it this way, or roast it, or whatever? I don't know, I've got this in front of me, and it seems pretty nice. Let's have a little try of it, look. It looks, it looks it's nice, nice. doesn't it? It looks juicy. Yeah, it's Tell you what, you try that, I'll try that. Mm, tastes nice. Yeah? Mm. On top side. Mm. I mean, you could roast it, you could do it this way. But. Mm, tasty. Right, should we get on with dishing it up? We'll come back in a minute then. Okay. Where do you actually want your gravy? On over. Right. Okay. Right, so there we go. We'll have some gravy on it. This gravy is special. What in the so is the veg. The veg is nice. I must admit, though, a certain someone that likes chips with his dinner did try some of the roasted vegetables. What did you say, sir? Yeah, I'm good with that, then. It's built me over the edge. I'm sorry, love. <laughs> <laughs> what was your verdict on the roast veg, love? It was actually, the potato, it was actually quite nice, actually. <laughs> actually quite nice actually. Yeah. That's well, a yeah. good verdict from someone that doesn't really like veg. I like this gravy though. <laughs> this gravy is extremely nice. It's, it's peppery. It's got loads of flavour. Pepper, tomato. So anyway, so there you go. So that's just was roast it, casserole it, whatever. We opted for that way. It was on the toss of a coin. I mean, if, if it would have came out edge, we would have um, roasted it. It's that simple. I suppose we'd probably do another one and roast it, eh? Yeah. We like that. Yeah. All right. There you go. See you later. Bye-bye.